you've seen our country go through a lot. And, and right now there are protesters out on the streets. Uh, some are protesting against uh, uh, the Democratic Party and the Biden administration for its defense of Israel. What's your position on that? I think Kamala Harris has spoken beautifully about this, which is the Democratic Party has always been um, a strong supporter of the strategic defense and security of Israel, a fellow democracy. And at the same time, um, we are anguished about the civilian casualties and the loss of life uh, in Gaza, and we need to bring the hostages home, and we need a ceasefire. Uh, and that's something where uh, American leadership can make a difference. What's your hope for America? Um, I hope that this century will have all of the beauty of the great civilizing movements of American history, the civil rights movement, the women's movement, the LGBTQ movement, the environmental movement, the movements that have made America a more perfect union uh, and opportunity for everybody. So I think that we're going to see that. And I'm hoping that we leave all the corruption and the cynicism and the violence and the insurrection behind and Donald Trump can go back to doing his hotels or whatever he does. Final question. What sparked in you the desire to be in public service? Well, um, it's funny because, uh, you know, I was a law professor for a quarter of a century and um, I love reading and writing and teaching and studying. Um, but when I had kids, I began to think about all of the things that would affect their future. And I realized uh, as much as I love academia, to me, it didn't feel completely responsible just to be kind of an academic observer and critic. I wanted to see if I could make a positive difference. Congressman, thank you. Thanks so much. We're